Hi, today I want to create a, an instrument summary with the graphics legend tool. I remember the first time I tried to do that, I was on a sheet layer like this one. Um, graphic legends, they only work on sheet layers. Uh, I clicked on it and I drew something and nothing showed up. Uh, so I kind of messed around. I looked, I said, oh, define legend source. Maybe that's what it is. I searched for a lighting device. Then I clicked OK, and that's what it did. And this is a f this is very far from what I wanted. And I could not find a way to have a proper instrument summary displayed as I wanted uh, with the graphics legend tool. It was very frustrating at first. Instead of drawing it uh, empty, uh, I'm going to go up here and select a style instead. Um, these styles are all built in into Vectorworks. Uh, so everybody has access to those. I'm going to choose custom source symbol based legend detailed for our um, example today. I'm just going to draw here. Oh, there we go. So it's not exactly what I want, but it's it's closer to where I want to go. First thing we need to do is define the legend source. It's grayed out right now because I'm editing a style. So what I want to do is start from this style and create my own. So I'll need to click on the style and convert to unstyled. Now I have access to all of these. The first thing I'll do is define legend source. Now in the source criteria, it's quite a complex formula that came with the style I selected earlier. Um, so I'm just going to make sure it's a lighting device. And instead of being reported by style or symbol name, I want this to be reported by lighting device and then by fixture ID. I'll click OK. And the first thing I want to change is that image. I don't want that 3D cut with the dimensions. That, that doesn't apply to me. I want to have that uh, 2D top plan view of the symbol, of the hybrid symbol from the top plan view. So I need to access the edit cell layout. There's two ways to do that. I can either click here or double click on the graphic legend and then select. Um, from the radio buttons. I want to edit the cell layout. Um, if you've uh, edited data tags before, you'll be very, very familiar with this. Um, in our case, that uh, gray dark rectangle represents the image. So if I double click on here, I get a preview of what it's going to look like in the graphic legend. And uh, this is not what I want in my case. So I'll change the view to top line. There we go. And I want to remove that dimension. I don't need it. So I'll go to annotations and then click none. I click OK and exit. Yeah, there we go. We are closer. Uh, we are not there yet um, because the quantities are not right. It says one and one, but up here in my viewport, I have more than one. Why is that? Well, I need to go back to edit cell layout again. I'll double click. And then in quantity, um, I need to define the graphic legend field. Down here in the value display, it's on show multiple values. Well, I don't want that. I want to show single value and I want to sum the values. If I click OK and exit again, if I come back, there are six and there are eight. Now I want to change the description to have the, uh, the fixture name itself. So I'll double click on it uh, and then click on description. Uh, and in define, I'm going to go to data source, object parameters. Object name is going to be lighting device. I'll type in light. And the parameter name is going to be the instrument type. So I'll just type in instrument, instrument type. Now it's, it's worth uh, noting that if I click OK, nothing is going to change. And that's because the current field definition up here is still the same. And that's where Vectorworks is pulling the data um, to display in the graphics legend. So what I need to do is replace current definition. Now it's brought up lighting device instrument type. If I click OK, and then exit again. Now it pulled the data and we have the four day and the BMFO wash me. Um, let's say I want to change another one, for example, because these don't really make sense for fixture summary, uh, finish, product code. These are from the, uh, the graphics legend style as well. Let's say I want finish to be uh, wattage instead. So it's the exact same thing, but um, what I'm going to do is make this a little shorter because wattage is never very long, just a few numbers. And if these are all dynamic text, so they're never 
necessarily shown if there's a text instead. So it's just a label. But you can add something that's not dynamic, that's a static text instead. Uh, I'm just holding control here on my keyboard to copy above here. I'll make this shorter. And if I uncheck dynamic text, now it just became regular static text on which I'm going to type in wattage. There you go. And now here, uh, I'm going to define again, let's change the label, put watts, and I'm going to go through this object parameter, lighting device, and the parameter name is wa wattage. Don't forget to click on replace current definition, click OK. And it's a little misaligned. Let's try to make it closer here, maybe. All right, and then exit. And there we go. Now it says wattage. It will always say wattage because it's a static text. And then the wattage pulled from the fixture data. Now something to keep in mind is that the way we built this, it's always going to calculate all of the fixtures in your document, in your complete document. Um, there are a few ways to limit what the graphic legend is going to show here. The first, the, the most obvious one is by viewports. Um, the, certainly the most commonly used. So I'm going to go back to my light plot, for example, and add four more of these, just holding control again, bring them down. So there are four more in the document. So there are 12 totals now. If I go back to my sheet layer and click recalculate, now there are 12 four dates, which is correct, but it's not what's shown up here. So it might be confusing. Um, I would just go here on filter by viewport. This is the viewport. I only have one viewport in this document, of course. I'll double click here to bring the check mark. And if I click OK, it recalculates to eight. Now I could change the I could change the quantity text to add a static text that says as shown. Uh, and then the number that would make sense uh, and would be a lot less confusing there are other ways to do that um, by viewport is kind of the most obvious one um, let's say there are a, there is a layer i don't want it to be displayed in the graphic legend so i'll add i'll copy these two i'll make sure they're on the viewport uh, so we see them but i don't want them to be calculated and i'll create a new design layer for these two that I'm going to count to call do not count. So these two are on the do not count layer and they're grayed out, which is which is great. Now if I come back here, they're not shown because I need to add that layer to my viewport. Let's say I add them to gray. Uh, and if we go here and click recalculate, now there are eight of them. But for some reason, I don't want these to, to be calculated on the graphic legend. Uh, that's not a problem. I come here and define legend source. And then in define custom source, I need to add a criteria. So all the criteria in this set, there are a bunch of criteria. It can get very complex. Uh, we'll keep it simple for this example. So all lighting devices are counted. And I only want to count when the layer is... Uh, light plot. I click OK and OK again. It went back to six because these two are on the do not count layer, which is not part of their criteria. I hope you found this helpful and uh, have a good one.